Okay, word. All right, so Ali, he... This, okay, so he goes by Ali Raza slash uh, Lil Blue. So he's also an artist, right? Um, off the bat, not the best sign because, you know, we. it, it is kind of weird that we hire someone who's an artist. Like, like, it can work and all, but, you know, you never really know, like, the motives of these people, right? Um, but seems like a really nice guy. Um, yeah, how do you zoom in? Profile picture is looking nice, bro. Um, he looks like someone I'd be friends with. So uh, he also goes by Lil Blue. Uh muslim parents just like mine uh and he says okay he's an actor as well he's an actor and he can do promotion for kto as well as interviewing okay so the, the interviewing part is probably not gonna happen um not quite sure what he means uh here by saying he can do promotion for kto like are you gonna are you gonna like be our pr person or like are you clouded up and you're gonna put us on your story because i you know I feel like that's not the case here. Um, oh, and modeling for merchandise. Okay. Um, don't also don't think that we completely need that right now. Um, so let's see. Let's see his IMDb real quick. Let's see what this guy's done. Okay. Um, so that's him right there. Looks pretty different in in, in both of those photos. Um, okay. So that's not him. That's not him. Oh, shady. Okay. So I couldn't see. It was so dark here. Um. So this is yeah, he's an OKC fan, and he's wearing a mask, and he's killing somebody. But that's him. So I guess this is like the role he played in this movie. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't think they would do that in a movie. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what this is. But um, okay. Has anyone seen any of these movies? Let me know. Yeah. Oh shit! For, for a second, I thought he was in these. I was like, "Now that if he was in Dexter, that'd be kind of crazy." Um, but okay, uh, I think it's I think it's time to call this guy straight up. So, where's he at? Where's he at? Lil Blue. Damn, one person actually didn't join yet. Uh, yo, Lil Blue. Uh, I'm gonna call you right now. Let's see how this works. Uh, let me video call this guy. Is he there? And guys, please let me know if you can uh, if you can hear him and you can see him properly. Yeah, Yo. Hello. How's it going, bro? What's up, man? You wanna um maybe turn off the stream so that you don't hear the echo? Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna uh fix the screen up a little bit. How's it going, man? Good. How about you, bro? I'm How about you? Yeah. No, it's going good. It's going good. Uh, hold up. Give me one quick second. It's an echo, right? Uh, it's not that. I'm just trying to make your screen a bit bigger. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I think I think that this should be decently good. Yo, chat. Let me know if you guys can hear him. If you guys can see him properly. Um, yeah. Uh, cool, cool, cool. I think I think we should start this, bro. So I I just made a list of questions that I really want to ask you. Um. But first of all, just like, yeah, how you doing today, man? Like, where are you based? Like, what's, what's going on? Doing very good, Arshan. I am based in Brooklyn, New York. I recently moved here from Orlando, Florida around like half a year ago. And I've been pursuing acting and music. So that's the main reason I moved to New York City. Word. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Maybe can you speak up, uh, put your mic a bit closer? If I, I don't know, I can't hear you for some reason properly, but... Yeah, there's like a crazy echo going on right now. I don't know if that if you hear that too. Uh, no, nah, it, it works well for me. But um, okay, I th I think we can get going, bro. So um, yeah. So what what made you wanna uh, apply for for KTO, man? I feel like when I read your resume, it was like you were doing like really different things that I didn't really expect would like fit in with KTO. But I'm I'm just curious, like what made you wanna apply for KTO? So the main reason was uh, I'm gonna tell you right now the the logo, the imaging, like. It's just like it's very easy to stick in my head. Like I feel like your branding is just so like so memorable. Like I've been watching interviews for like a while, like the DDG one, the SSG Kobe one. I like rewatch like just like the whole like the editing of the videos, the intro, and like the little the -na -na, like the in the beginning, like from everything. I'm just like really inspired by the whole brand and like everything you guys do from like merchandise to interviewing artists and all of that. 
That's what's up. That's what's up. You mentioned um, so uh, you mentioned something in your email. You're like you're gonna bring up uh, uh like a unique perspective to KTO, right? So I'm just curious, like, what exactly uh did you mean by like by that when when you said that? So I'm an artist myself, so I can uh, bring the artist point of view, and I feel like that would add something different. Right. Right. How so? How so? Well, because um. I've been in their position, so like the questions that I'm asking them, I not maybe all of them, but like a good majority possibly, I've been in their shoes, so like I kind of know where they're coming from. So it brings like a sense of relatability, kind of I feel like to the artist. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I guess so. Maybe like helping us, kind of like with like research questions, like making more personal questions catered towards the artist from an artist perspective, kind of. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. Uh, now this thing I definitely want to ask you um, because like you mentioned you're an actor right and uh, we've never had anyone apply for a role for us that's an actor and like um, I don't think that like we'll need um, any sort of like I guess acting <laughs> for us but um, I'm kind of curious like is there like uh, like like what kind of got you into acting and like how do you think you can apply that to like KTO basically well so like this is a this is basically like a a channel where you kind of get like a closer view into artists, their life and all of that. So like, I can definitely bring a personality and like possibly do skits. If that's like anything you guys are looking towards in the future, or if not that, then like I also do modeling. So like, I feel like, cause like, I feel that my look and all of that can maybe contribute to modeling either to do skits or to just help you guys out with like research for artists or like, you know, any of that would appeal to me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, to be completely honest, I I don't think that we're trying to add, like, another host at this point. Um, my whole thing with KTO is, like, you know, I'm, I'm so strong on, like, you have to build the platform to make it, like, huge, and then that's when you can start adding other hosts, right? Like, I don't know if you've seen, like, No Jumper. They've added, like, now they have, like, literally they have, like, five shows with other, other hosts and stuff, and um, we do want to do that in the future, but... I think that the the person we're trying to get on the team right now is more so just like for like the next um, six to eight months. Like, how can I build with that person for the next six to eight months, right? Um, so, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you know, it's 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 cool though. I think you know it is kind of badass. So, like, imagine we we were on an interview set and you know, because you got to make like small talk with the, with the rappers before the interview starts. And if I was like, "Yo, this guy's a this guy's an actor right here," that'd be kind of badass, you know. So. I guess I guess that's that, that's a plus, but um, you you did mention that you you would do like promotion for KTO in your email. I don't know I don't know if I read that correctly, but like so so what do you mean by that? Because yeah, it's kind of so like um, I have a a question and then I can answer that if that's fine, or I yeah, can yeah, answer that and ask the question. So like, what exactly are you looking for as far as a in a candidate? Like, what would the job entail? Yeah, so to be completely honest, bro, like we're pretty we're pretty broad in like what we're looking for i feel like we're just trying to see what people have to offer right um like you know obviously we like you know we don't need another host but there could be someone who does like i guess creative direction uh digital marketing uh someone who helps like with the back end stuff of all the merch uh maybe like someone to throw on the creative team of the merch to help us design merch uh someone to maybe help us like get the promos going because we you know we don't do like any promos yet um but you know m biggest two things i'd say is like digital marketing slash like creative direction just someone who has like a good mind and and can help us like throw ideas real quick um when it comes to like you know uh making content get bigger or like you know new content ideas things like that so i can for sure so like i have an instagram but my following isn't as big as ato so i wouldn't really offer me promoting on my page what i would offer is my intake my because i do definitely have a lot of creative ideas for content because i create content myself so i definitely have a lot of creative ideas for that so in terms of i would like either be uh, like for example like maybe i would like get like um ha have an idea to edit a video or something and like i know exactly like when to post it so like i'll go on the kto instagram or something and maybe like do like a, a shout out or like this is when it's happening and do all the instagram stuff that really like just to create like new content ideas and like a way to push it out and like a right like a really marketable way no nah, i f i feel that i think like in terms of like 
having the team po- like everyone from the team always posts an interview right but um i don't think that would bring too much value at this point but uh okay i do i do have some some other questions for you though you know like what what would you say is like your your greatest strength and and your greatest weakness hmm. my greatest strength is my creativity and my greatest weakness has to be not knowing when to stop. Not knowing when to stop what? Not not knowing when to stop the like if I had too many things on my plate. Cause I have like a lot of things on my plate right now, and I, I feel like you don't really succeed in life until you sit back, kind of reset, and kind of like clear your mind, you know? Right. Okay. 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 I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let me let me give you a scenario, right? Let's say let's say you were kind of on like our creative direction team, right? And I said, hey, man, like, we have something that comes out tomorrow at 5 p.m., right? I need you to kind of, like, throw me some ideas and, like, just make, like, a Google Doc, like, throwing out some ideas for, you know, how to maybe, like, push it further um, by 2 p.m. tomorrow, right? But let's say you had, like, an emergency that happened um, on around, like, around, like, 1 p.m., right, uh, the next day. Now, what would you do in that scenario? The things do you have five. Oh, shit, I think someone donated. Uh, dude seems really nice. Honestly, top person so far. Yeah, I mean, it's been... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been one candidate. But, um, yeah, so, like, yeah, what what would you do in, in that scenario? You know, like, would you... Yeah, like, I'll leave that to you. So, definitely... So, the thing is, you did put me in a very tough situation but i would try to either stay up overnight and get whatever i have to get done or try to like reschedule and move around my my like the priority i have at that 1 p.m time okay okay makes sense makes sense yeah i guess the only reason i was asking is because like you know the the worst thing is like if you just like didn't tell me right like because there's no no, of course uh, like yeah yeah, there needs to be like communication. That's just like right? terrible. The, uh, right, yeah, right, right. Because that honestly, that will go far beyond even the work. That go like into like principle and like having to keep up with people and like not like not replying, like not responding. Like I hate that. Like I I hate when girls do that. Like when ghosts, like you know, like it's just like in general, like you know, yeah. I hate that. Girl, girls do. Oh, oh, like you hate when girls do that to you, like girlfriends and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit's annoying, man. That. That's just annoying. You know what you gotta do? You just gotta you just gotta you just gotta stop replying to them for like a week, and then you know that's <laughs> yeah. you, know, you gotta show them who's no, boss, you know? Right, nah, but um, yeah. okay, okay. Well, well, I respect that because we we that's like top priority is that we find somebody who who like you know responds like constantly. Because I know, know how it feels to be ghosted. Yeah, so like I'm gonna tell you right now, like you know, yeah. Okay, okay. No, I, I respect that. I respect that. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, well, I guess um. I guess one of, one of the last questions I, I want to ask you because we just got to get to the next interview is like, bro, what's your schedule? Like, you know, like, of course, there's people that have other commitments and stuff, but we need someone who's like really free and like I can hit up right away and like late night, I'll just hit you up like, yo, like we got this idea, like let, let's get it going. Like, you know, uh, what's your schedule like, man? Just realistically. So currently I like, I, I used to live in Orlando, so I had like a part-time job and I was going to school and everything. But I like put that all to the side after on um, my acting career kind of took off more and I was getting more roles here. So I just been like focusing on that. And you know, with acting, it's kind of like an on call kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's not like a set schedule, like, oh, I might get an audition for this and I might shoot on this day or I might get canceled because one of the actors fell sick or something. It's, it's more like, it's like a really situational kind of thing that you kind of get known either the last minute or in advance and you can't really control it. But mm-hmm. Aside from that, I don't have any, like, real commitment. So I guess that's good, you know. Right. Okay. Well, that's good to hear, man. I think, um, yeah, uh, I feel like you, you have good intentions, bro. And, like, uh, uh, you know, you seem like a really, like, outspoken person. I think uh, I think let's let's stay in touch, man. I'm going to hit you up, like, around this week. Maybe let's do, like, another call or something. Um, I, I feel like I feel like more so what you're looking for is, like, you know you're an actor you know like you you're in front of the camera so you have experience with that so i feel like something you're more so looking for is like a hosting type thing or like a character and like the vlogs or like maybe on the tiktok so i don't know i i see potential in 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 that space so um it was nice talking to you bro and uh yeah like let's stay in touch okay
Yeah, yeah, very nice talking to you. One last question: Where are you from, bro? Oh, so uh, I'm fr- I live in uh, Surrey, which is like in BC in Canada. I don't know if you know where that is. It's like okay. on the west side. Um, but my parents are from Pakistan. Okay, tight. What about you? Tight. Are you also from Pakistan? Bro. Like your parents from Pakistan? So my parents are from Karachi. Yeah. Where are your parents from? Like? Sick. Mine too, bro. Karachi. Ooh, bro. Okay, yeah, we're city boys at heart, man. Our yes, parents sir, are yes, city sir. people. Okay, okay, <laughs> awesome, bro. Um, awesome, cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll catch you later. Okay. Great speaking to you. It was a pleasure interviewing you. I definitely look forward to hearing back. Hell Thank yeah, you, hell man. yeah. All right, see you, man. All right, little blue, little blue. Um, I'm gonna read the chat. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Someone said, "I pick him. He is serious." Um, someone said, "Respect to this guy. All respect, my brother." Yeah, man. I mean, this guy. This guy had some had some good intentions. I'm gonna be completely honest. You know, I don't think there was like a huge fit right now for KTO because like we don't need hosts and we don't need other personalities. I want the brand to be bigger before we do that. Um, but hey, man, this 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 guy is, is reliable. I feel like I feel like this guy's reliable. Damn. Some people say mid. Okay. 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 Um, damn. Okay, okay. I think we should move on to the to the next contestant, man. Let's move on. Yo, Sean, I want to make, I want to take a creative standout approach to my resume. So below, if I have I have attached my handmade resume. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. So guys, like stuff like this, right? This is what puts you over the top. You know, I haven't read, I haven't like properly read all of it yet, but this type of stuff really puts you over the top. Like you'll have so many resumes that just same thing. You know, a bunch of paragraphs using big words to kind of make themselves sound like they do more than they really do. But um, some people go outside the box and they're like, okay, how can mine stand out? You know, that's that's like the way I think. So um, I feel like I feel like we got something right here, you know, already. Someone said, yo, you're only picking brown people. No, 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 no. It's not like that. It's not like that. Um, also, if you guys want to ask a question to the person in the interview, you, you can just donate um, because then they'll answer it on the spot. Um, okay, so, okay, what do you want to do at KTO? All right, okay, I, I already skimmed through this. So basically, dude wants to... Okay, this dude is is studying cancer, mice cancer at a research lab. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, that's what he wants. That's what he's already doing. And he's trying to become a photographer for KTO. Um, what, what stands out about him is that he shoots film. Okay, I, I, you know, a lot of people shoot film, so nothing nothing crazy crazy um all right you know i think i think i think we should just call this guy straight up i, I like his drawings though um more so than the film pictures i do like the drawings more um yeah resume's fire though like in, in terms of just how you designed it and went about it so respect to you bro um let's let's call him up let's call him up so hold on, how do you do this shit again uh who's this again this is vish right Vishal, right, right, right. Okay. Okay, okay. Vishal, I hope you pick up the phone, bro. Yo, what's up? Vish, what's up, man? What's up? What's going on, man? Let me just uh, make this a bit bigger real quick. Um, What's going on, man? How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I, I just read the chat. Someone said creative vibes, bro. I, I could just see, you know, you're you're a creative guy. You got the title of creator in the back. You're not listening to any mid music. Yeah. Okay. Where, got where? Astro and over there. Okay, yeah. okay. I see, I see you. Yeah. Um all right, man. Let's let's get this going. So um yeah, I like how you did your resume, first and foremost. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah. I yeah, I just really like to draw on my free time. I just use that as an outlet for my creativity, you know, like whatever I'm thinking about. I'll just draw, I'll just put on music and just like whatever I think of, I'll just like draw. So I have like a little notebook here. So I keep all my stuff in there. So That's sick, man. Yeah, it definitely does stand out. You know, there's there's a lot of people that don't um that have like boring resumes and stuff. So you definitely don't qualify under that. So um Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, so so let's get it going, man. So um yeah, you know, I, I did skim through your resume. Like what what made you really wanna ap- apply for KTO and like what are you trying to do? Yeah, so like I said in my resume, I wanted to do photography. It's been a passion of mine, you know, like it started of me just like shooting pictures of my friends and stuff like that. 
but I've just been trying to get more serious. I, I really like shooting photography. And as I explained in my resume, like shooting film is important to me. And I know like a lot of people do it, you know, but to me, it's just like, you can't go back. So like, you have to make sure what you're doing is like a hundred percent and you want to make sure you get the right shot. Cause you might not never get that moment again. So I just think like photography is really cool in that aspect. And so at KTO, I think like a cool thing would be, would be like, you know, during interviews, I think take pictures of the artist or like, you know, post interview or pre interview, like you and the artist plus like, Whoever's on your team, like I can just get a snapshot of that, and you guys could use that to like post on the gram or whatever. And I can I can also get like solo shots of the artists, like in their fit, whatever they're wearing to the interview, and like different environments and stuff like that. Nothing like nothing like renting a studio or anything like that, because it depends on the artist time. But mm-hmm. whatever time you guys have that the artist isn't being interviewed, I would love to you know just take some shots so you guys can just use it for any of your content on YouTube or Instagram or anything like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um... Well, you know, you, you mentioned, you know, you want to be like a photographer for us pretty much, right? Um, right? How much do you think that'll really elevate the brand, you know, because um, actually I'll, I'll let you answer first. Like how much do you really see that okay. like, elevating the brand? Like in, in what areas, like social <clears throat> media, like what do you think? Right. It's so, like, I would say like, I, I, I think a lot because like, you know, if I go on my Instagram explore page, I'm more prone to clicking a picture of an artist rather than like some text, you know? So I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, I like the way you guys use your layout. Like it looks like Apple, like the iOS, you know, your little icons and things like that. So I think it'd be cool for like the cover picture to be a unique picture of the artist that's like not available anywhere else on the internet. You know, people have seen like similar pictures of like Playboy Cardi often or Uzi or Sofago. There's like common pictures, like stock photos, like people would use like searching up Sofago. But like, let's say like you interview another artist like a new artist for example like cash dami or something you know and i get a picture of him like you can make that be like dude, like if someone sees that picture like yo that's like from kto like i recognize that because it's on film or it has arshan in it or you know you can just tell by like the feel of the photo so i think like people gravitate towards what's authentic and like what's real and they don't want to see like overused or just like photos that like have been they've been seeing like all over the internet that's fair that's fair i mean you know, from from a realistic perspective, unlike you know, just because I've been doing this for for like two and a half years, right? Um, right. I think that I think that when we're making social posts, like we have to like sometimes it's like okay, we have like ten things to do in a day, right? And we have like a thirty minute gap, and we're like, all right, have the social post idea, let's put it out, right? So there isn't always time yeah. to be like, all right, let's let's sift through if Vish, you know, took the, took a photo of of Cash Dummy, um, and let's use that, right? What we'll usually do is right. just find the most like co- the picture with the most contrast that still looks like a nice photo shoot, and maybe just like tag the artist, right? Um, okay. Because I know I know complex like complex, you know, complex just like takes photos from other people, and they'll just take like the craziest photo, and then then they'll just tag them, right? So, um, right, right. realistically, yeah, I feel like I feel like we would rather just use something online. <laughs> However, I could see having a photographer work more so on like the merch side of things, you know, like product photos photo shoots um yeah like like let's say let's say for example um it's like curious what other roles he feels like he could do like i feel like you got to do multiple things when in a smaller company yeah what do you think um that's a good question i mean i could say like i'm pretty creative you know like as you could see in my drawings and like photography so i think like from another standpoint like i could help with uh, like social media and like promoting the brand you know like as i said in my resume i'm taking a gap year and i go to college like i'm in florida so there's like a lot of florida schools like you know i could help market the brand to like younger populations because you know that's what this entire brand is about pushing the content to like the newer generation and things like that so i mean i could help with like you know marketing in, in terms of that aside from like the photography Okay. I, I would say, like, you know, that's a good thing. I also think, like, another thing is I have experience in, like, Photoshop and things like that. And I think, like, combined with my drawings, I could c- cre- come up with, like, some pretty creative merch designs in case, like, you ever want to do, like, a creative, um, a different type of approach to, like, the merch drops. Because so far, the merch drops have been great. That Soundwave t-shirt looks really cool. I think, like, maybe if you just add, like, a drawing or, like, some kind of little abstract thing to try to make it more appealing to viewers that also incorporates a KTO logo, but you know, they're like, wow, that's really eye catching. Like, what is that from? And then you see the KTO logo, then they're like, that's kids take over. That's cool. They're just venturing more than just putting out, you know, like a lot of brands, they just put their logo on stuff and sell it. And it works. But I think like what I want, what I focus on is like, I want to make sure I'm putting out the best product that I can. So I just want to make it more creative and do go that extra step to make sure people are like, that's more than merch. Like that could be considered like a clothing brand type of thing. So I think I, w- I could help in that too. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, we actually were thinking. I remember, um, well, at least for one drop to do more of like something with like a graphic on it and like like a 
more so mm-hmm. characters. I know we kind of touched on that in this one, the, the back to school one, but okay. Right, right, yeah, yeah. That's that sounds interesting. So, um, I think let's just get this out of the way because I was curious about this. Like, bro, so you're studying, yeah. you're studying, uh, <clears throat> cancer on uh, on mice. Yeah. So I'm in a research lab at Moffitt Cancer Center. It's like a cancer center that's located in Tampa. And basically, my lab focuses on leukemia on mice. And what we're trying to do is, you know, test drugs on mice to see if it decreases the amount of cancerous cells to see if, you know, they could be pushed into FDA development and use those drugs in humans and leukemia and things like that. Gotcha. So, yeah, I, right, right now what I do, I just go down to the basement where they have the mice colonies and I have to euthanize the mice and extract the spleens because that's part of the endocrine system. And, you know, to, to see if there's leukemia or not, you have to process and analyze the spleen. So we take the spleen out of the mice after it's euthanized and we analyze the data and try to see, you know, is this drug targeting the right type of cells and is it actually decreasing the amount of leukemia in the mice? So, yeah. Shit, what the hell? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Sounds, sounds a little crazy, man. That Yeah, I'm going to be honest, yeah. Someone said in the chat, I really don't understand what what really it's, that means. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but it, it's, it sounds like you you know your shit and, you know, it, I'm sure you don't have to get, <laughs> get into that school and study that without being smart, so um Thanks. okay 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 i got I, I got some other questions for you um let's see yeah, go let's ahead see. let's see let's see let's see what the chat's saying in the meanwhile um yeah yeah i mean the, the chat seems to like you man from from what i'm seeing um so oh, far that's awesome. um okay let's see let's see what other questions i got for you um okay okay uh you're definitely like you are an anti-vaxxer right because i i'm anti-vax just letting you know yeah, I'm definitely anti-vax. I think no, that joking, like I'm if joking, you get I'm the joking, vaccine, bro, I'm joking, I'm you joking. become a drone. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm bro, I got the vaccine. Bro, yeah. you, lost me. you lost me for a sec. You lost me. No, for a sec. <laughs> okay, okay. yeah, I got Pfizer. No, nah, that's cool. Me too, man. I'm double Pfizer up. So, um, okay, this is something I I, I really want to ask you, bro. So, if if you're studying on mice and doing all those things like that, you know, like how how yeah. can you fit KTO into your life? Like, how, how does that fit? You know, like what is your schedule gonna be like? Because like transparently we don't want someone that is like super busy all the time you know right right yeah that makes sense that's a good question i think it's fair considering what i said on my resume so right now like i said in my resume i'm taking a gap year so i'm not focused completely on school and classes so i'm not like bound to those things i think that like i, I have a schedule right now with my supervisor who i work with in the lab i'm working two to three days a week and i'm usually working sometimes between like nine to two nine to three something like that um three days a week so the other four days of the week, you know, I have time to pursue my passions like photography, drawing, hanging out with friends, try to see like if I can make any cool content, just what I'm thinking of, or, you know, just doing my other passions like skateboarding, playing basketball, stuff like that. So I definitely do have some free time. And also because I'm, I've am i been working closely with my supervisor, she, I also, she does give me flexibility with my schedule and she's very understanding because she knows, you know, like I'm still a student and I have other things to worry about that's not only this lab. So I'm, I'm doing three days a week and she's also flexible with stuff like that. So okay. I would, that, that would be my response to saying what my schedule is. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, um, yeah. um, you know, from the chat, what, what I'm seeing is, you know, people like you, either saying that or they're saying that we look alike. Um, so I think, uh, I think, yo, to be completely transparent, bro. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I really think that you seem like a really hard worker. You're, you're passionate about, about music and, and what you do, like creative stuff. Um, I don't think that we need a, uh, a photographer at the moment because one of our videographers, uh, Talha, and I guess also mm-hmm. Mickey, like they take photos. So um, okay, okay. I guess they would already be able to do that. However, um, where'd you say you were based? Uh, I'm from Orlando, but I'm right now based in Tampa. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I think yeah. I think if it's if it's ever the situation where we're both in the same city, like I would love to bring you along. Um, let's say we're there for like in like uh, because I mean, we were just in Florida. Let's say we were in Florida for like a week. It's rolling loud. Yeah, time. I saw you were in rolling loud. I was there too, actually. Oh, lit, lit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I would love to just you know, if possible, just bring you along. Maybe you can just take photos of the artists um and let's let's see how that works you know maybe, maybe it is cool like that we have like a collection of original kto photos right that someone took so right. maybe, maybe we bring you uh, along um on, on a trip and you can take some photos uh just hang out with us um or possibly you know let's stay in touch you know we are always looking for people to help us on the on the merge side of things um whether it's just working okay. like a one-off design or something so um yeah, yeah, yeah um let's let's stay in touch and uh what's your ig if you if you can just tell everyone and uh i'll follow you later 
Um, I don't have like a public IG, Instagram. I just have like one that just like my friends follow. I can send it to you per- personally. I just like let sure. my friends follow it. So I can send it to you on Discord so you can give okay. me a follow. I'll follow you back. That's cool, guys. Yeah. He doesn't even want the cloud, guys. That's that's sick. So um uh no. That's um that's fire, bro. I'll, I'll talk to you later and now uh, we're gonna move on to the next question, right. okay? All right, sounds good. Thanks, bro. Peace out, Vish. Okay, let's go, let's go. Um yeah, man. Are you guys in the chat or seeming to like this guy? Um, everyone's saying to call, uh, Lalon or Lalon. Uh, he's one of the people we will get to that. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I, I like, I like Vish. I know it didn't really like, fit too much on the team, but you know, seems like, seems like he'd be great for someone else or like, I definitely want to follow up with that guy. He's cool. Um, okay. Yo. Yo, what's going on, man? What's going on, my boy? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Damn, I feel bad. Everyone in the chat's just saying that like I'm like racist and I'm only picking brown people, but I swear that's not even the case, guys. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Let yeah, me just no hide worries. this chat. Make it bigger real quick. Um, hey man, so uh, what's going on? I feel like a lot of your friends are in this chat. They they want you to get interviewed. <laughs> yeah. Um, I posted on my Instagram that like, yo, I have this live interview with KTO. Um, and I put the link of it in my bio, and I. I guess I have a pretty large fan base, um, based in New York. Damn. So I told him like, yo, like join up, like spam them and be like, yo, hire me. And I guess I got some fans. So shout out to all my fans in the comments. I appreciate y'all. Damn guys. He has fans. That's crazy, man. That's, that, that's a plus. That, that seems like a plus to me, honestly. Um, cause those fans will convert to KTO fans. So, all right. All right. Cool. 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 Well, um, what, what made you want to, what made you want to actually apply for KTO man? And you're trying to do digital marketing, correct? Yes, correct. Um, basically, I've been a fan of KTO for about a year now. Um, and specifically, uh, when you guys interviewed Southside and Pyrex, those two are, I'm a producer, I'm an artist, uh, engineer, and a video editor. And Pyrex being two of those things and Southside being one of the pioneers of everything in general made me kind of gravitate to you guys even more. And especially because it's a brown host that made me gravitate even more. So um, the mixture of that uh, kind of made me be like, you know what? I feel like me working at this record label right now and then transferring it to something that's more oriented towards creativeness um, besides just the label aspect of it would be a good transition uh, just for music and the industry overall. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. So, sorry, just to clarify, you mentioned that you produce, you engineer, you do videos and you make music? Yes, yeah, so I'm an artist, producer, engineer, and a video editor. Okay, 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 okay. What, what kind of video editing work have you done? Well, um, I've edited i've i've assisted my first ever music video i assisted edited that one uh there was two editors on it me and one of my homeboys and my second music video i ever released i edited the entire thing and i shot it on a sony handycam vision uh which is a very old school camera and i edited it on premiere pro entirely by myself it took me like a day and a half two days kind of damn okay 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 you, you're multi-talented okay that's what's up that's what's up um yeah i feel like you know when, when you're an artist um you kind of have to learn to do everything so i haven't seen your your editing work but uh please do uh i don't know if you attached it but please do send it so i could uh check that out um but okay well tell me about more of what you did in uh in cinematic music group and again for people who don't know in the, in the audience that's the label that um i think nipsey was signed to uh joy badass uh, just, you know, uh, some cool artists that we've interviewed before, I believe. Uh, yeah, what exactly did you do there? Because um, you said it was digital marketing, but like, tell me a scenario where you actually, they gave you something, it was like lacking, you came on, you helped it, and then it did better. But, so, basically, they would come up to me with these ideas for their artists. So that, for example, um, I don't know if you know who Big Yevo is, but Big Yevo is an artist who's under cinematic. And he had this one song that was popping on TikTok that was kind of rising on TikTok. And my whole assignment was basically take his song and somehow promote it through other TikTok users. So I'd have to make a TikTok spreadsheet. I'd have to list all the TikTok users that could potentially use this sound who've made content that's similar to what the music is about. Contact them, find their emails, or also I'd have to go to... um, there's these certain platforms that have TikTokers or influencers signed under their uh, platform and basically go through them and then contact their influencers 
and basically just reach a larger audience based off TikTok marketing, specifically TikTok, um, as I am of the younger generation. They kind of utilize me and my knowledge in TikTok. Um, and I've also been able to apply that to my own career as well. But in general, I've done a, a lot of spreadsheets. I can't count how many, but I've done basically for every artist under cinematic, I've done some sort of spreadsheet that had to do with uh, digital marketing. Um, and on top of that, I've done um, behind the scenes video shoots for uh, people like Pierre Bourne and Moneybag Yo oh, at shit. the cinematic office. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so things I've just been very active in when it comes to promoting artists and making sure that whatever the product is it's seen that's what's up that's what's up people are in the chat are saying that you have like a tiktok that's like doing good like your own tiktok uh yeah i i guess they recognize me uh basically over the summer i i, I produced uh michael jackson on a drill beat um and the michael jackson the song dangerous i put it on a drill beat and it kind of went viral on instagram and uh tiktok and stuff and that's how i gained i gained like nine thousand followers in like two days on instagram so that's why there's like a lot of people who are like in the comments and stuff like that so okay 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 well, well what's your tiktok shout out to everybody showing love um lalon.nyc uh it's the same as my discord at lalon.nyc i'm gonna check this out right now okay you have twelve thousand followers oh shit. okay you weren't you weren't kidding man um Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because you know, basically, um, we we were looking for someone that can like you know, because every week I look at it as like an album or like a song in a sense, right? When we put out a video, I look at it as a song. It's like you need to have a rollout for it. You need to think of that in advance. You need to think of what you're gonna do the moment it comes out. You need to think of what you're gonna do uh, two days later from when it comes out, right? So we need someone who can help think of like these plans, right? And like I, I've already kind of done it. It's just the fact that like I don't have the time to like do it myself but you know like we like I, I already said this in videos before but we'll do things like let's say a video comes out um we do an interview with smoky margella he talks about asap rocky all right now we're gonna get that clip um posted in the asap rocky subreddit things like that you know what i'm saying so um yeah like you know do you kind of see yourself helping in that area for kto and like do you have any like cool ideas like like what do you think yeah, of course. So I'll give you a perfect example of where I've done uh, literally the exact same thing. Uh, basically, Young Ines is an artist that's under Cinematic Music Group. Mm -hmm. And he had mentioned King Vaughn, rest in peace, in one of his interviews. And what we had to do was basically to boost Young Ines' appearance to a larger fan base was I had to create acid cuts. That's another thing that I do for Cinematic also. Sorry, so sorry, like sorry. You, you, music... sorry. You had to create what? Uh, acid cuts, right? Okay. Uh, so that's like you said when music drops on Fridays if it's a music video I create cuts of the videos and put it on social assets So what I had to do was take the clip of young Ines talking about King Vaughn Hit up King Vaughn fan pages and Lil Dirk fan pages and put that clip on their Instagram pages So that way people are like who's young Ines? Let me check mm -hmm. them out Stuff like that. So gotcha. that the, the, exactly what you described I've I've done and I'm still currently doing as cinematic Gotcha. Gotcha. I feel like I feel like we're on the same uh, same same wavelength right right now like I I uh I fuck with this. Okay. Okay, well, um this is something I, I definitely want to know uh because uh I don't know if you have like a really busy schedule or like you have a lot going on, but we ideally want someone that we can just hit up right away and be like, "Yo, man, like we have this idea. Let let's get it going." Um rather than, you know, like, "Hey, man, I have this idea. Okay, let's let's get it going after like 4 days, you know? Like let's shoot a, let's shoot me a call then." You know, like I'm trying to get things going like right away. I'm like so passionate about this and I understand that the employees are not going to have that exact same passion because, you know, like they're not like the founder. But that being said, you know, like, like how, how reliable will you be and like how passionate are you about this kind of shit? Well, honestly, I'm a college student. I'm an artist and I also work for a record label. So I always find time to do whatever I can because I'm also passionate about this. Um, I have college and I have classes, but on top of that, I always find a way to squeeze in whatever is necessary to squeeze in. I literally have, I had assignments due today for cinematic. I have a meeting for cinematic tomorrow and I always find a way to squeeze it in. Um, I'm very flexible. Um, a lot of my classes are online, so there's no real stress of me like not being present in the moment to do mm -hmm. work. And on top of that, I there's no such thing as a curfew for me. Um, I'm up until late nights, whether it's making beats or editing videos or whatever it is, I'm still up doing work regardless so whenever you need me just holla and i'll be there okay 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 yeah because like you know a lot of people say that and then it's like we get to working and then like a month goes by and then i'm and then it's like you know it's like they don't respond and shit like that so you know I, i'm just you know you, you could see how i'd be kind of sketched out right but um of course. yeah no you, you seem like you, you know what you're doing um 
Seem, seems like a really good fit, honestly, not gonna lie. Uh, okay, yo, I think the chat likes you, man. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read what the chat's saying right now. Someone said, this is the sure. guy, Rashawn, trust me. Um, someone said, get it, get them all on the team. All right, guys, we can't do that. Um, someone said, uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, I, f I feel like someone said, you're cool, calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, I agree. All right, man, I think, um, let, let's stay in touch. Um, Shoot me a DM on IG as well, so that so that I could follow you. And uh, like, what's your IG? Just let the people know. Uh, so my IG is l a l o n dot n y c. Uh, you want me to DM you on your personal or on KTO? Yeah, hit me up on, on my personal. I'll, I'll probably see it uh, better there. Um, Copy. Also, also, no, you know, I I had, I had one quick uh, the question. So like, you you can think about this question carefully, but like, you know, w would you say that that you have better drip than me? Listen, man. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna quote. I'm gonna quote Young Wanna, Young, Young Gunner for this one. It don't matter what the 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 name of the brand you got on. It don't matter what the name is. As long as you could piece it together, it don't matter. I'm gonna show y'all my drip right now. Right. Let's see. Let's see. Right. No brands. But then I no got brands. On some Okay. I mean, this is some fear of God shit, but that don't matter. It don't even. Yeah. Right. It only costs like five hundred dollars, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And word. I got all right. Nike slides on, bro. All right. <laughs> that's that's not a bad answer at all. It's not a bad answer at all. Okay. I will. Um. I'll, I'll hit you up this week, bro. Like, like I, th I think we should talk more. Okay. I'm with it. Yeah. I appreciate you so much for the opportunity. Thank you guys so much in the comments for showing me so much love. I appreciate everybody. I'm gonna holla at y'all soon. All right. See you later, man. Hey, is it over or what? Cause I okay. Yo, that guy was cool, man. Um, he as far as like what we need out of the three contestants, he had he was offering the most, you know, for what we actually need. Um, and you guys, you guys like him too. Now we still got 150 viewers in the chat. Lo love to see it. Let's do this. His name's not Shimoki, by the way, guys. It's it's Vikram. Vikram, right? Yo. Yeah, Vikram. What's up, bro? How you doing? What's going on, bro? What's going on? Doing good. Yourself? I'm good. I'm good. You know, just getting through these interviews. Um, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a cool idea, bro, to do it on live stream for sure. That's cool. Were, were you watching the stream so far? Oh, uh, I so originally my plan was to like not watch it because I didn't want like to know what was gonna be asked and I didn't want anybody else's answers to influence mine. But actually, in the in the waiting room, like I kind of overheard because some people had it off mute and I didn't really. I just like kind of listened in a little bit, but. Um, yeah, it was cool so far. Like, I thought everyone that interviewed so far is, like, honestly, like, they have a lot to offer for sure. Like, even if not for KTO, just in general. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I just want to quickly... Damn, someone said I was showing my personal info. Uh, hold on, give me one quick second. Oh, shoot, my bad, my bad. I think I might have showed your number, bro. My bad, my bad, bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't think anyone's going to gonna call you, bro. My bad, my bad. <laughs> um, Yo, know. if they start blowing up my phone, Arshan, bro. I'm nah. just playing. No, no, I'm good. Um, okay, so let's, uh, yeah, let's let's get it going, man. So your 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 resume was pretty lengthy, you know. It, it took a while to, yeah. to get through, but I feel like you're doing you're doing a lot, and you you are already working in like a job, right? So uh, mm -hmm. let the people know in like three to four sentences, like what is it exactly that you do right now, and like what what skills do you have? Yeah, sure. So like, I'm a consultant at a corporate accounting firm, and so basically what that is is that I. Uh, and this is kind of like what I went to college for and I studied. I've been in this position for two years now. And basically what it is, it's like a client facing position. And we work on finance I mean, on projects. My projects are typically like finance related projects um, and just going in and working with clients to help, you know, their overall business kind of streamline their whole business finance process. It's a whole lot of like buzzwords and it can get pretty complicated, but it's definitely like a very corporate position, if you know what I mean, like standard college degree to to job type of type of role right um so how does that kind of fit in into kto like like what are you trying to do so, for us? so the thing is like to be honest like i i i kind of started off in a corporate role but i'm you know over over time like doing doing this i'm like more confident than ever that i really want to like pursue a career in in music i'm already getting calls <laughs> by the way no you're good you're good oh, oh, <laughs> wait, already 
Yes, yo, I'm no so caller sorry, ID. Bro. Guys, nah, guys, you're please, good, bro. You're guys, good. Guys, hold up, please, guys. If you're in the chat, just just don't call him. I, I want to interview him. You know, just just stop. <laughs> you can just you can block the numbers after, but uh, yeah. I didn't think that. Would yeah, be for sure. Right. Nah, so like it's it's a very corporate job, and like working at this over time, I've always wanted to work in music. At first, like I thought I wanted to you know record music. Like when I was in high school, early in college, and me and my my friend, he would make beats, I would write raps, but. You know, over time, I've learned like, you know, there's so many other avenues in the music industry and specifically in hip hop and so many things that go hand in hand with hip hop. Like there's so many ways to be in the industry and work and like, you know, bring value to it. And so, you know, having worked my corporate job, I'm like, you know, I'm I'm I don't want to do this anymore. I want to shift my career over to music. Now, how I think that my job could help translate in that sense is that and I had this even before um, I started my job, but I've really good you know, great people skills, work ethic, I have great business acumen. And I also personally think I have a very creative mind and can help with creative direction in that sense. And, you know, my people skills and my work ethic just comes from like how demanding my job is because I work with clients. I have to work with people daily, difficult people. And I know like how important at a at so, something like KTO, like how important networking and being able to work with people is because whether it's virtually or face to face interaction, like you building those relationships is how like even let's even with your content right now with being mostly interviews like you have to build those relationships reach out to people and do that sort of like legwork to be able to even start that sort of thing so i think i have a lot of those skills and then also just you know overall business acumen i know like business operations well like i i can help like kto expand and like really helping the like background with a lot of things like on that side in terms of like how to expand like how to make kto bigger um you know just like any sort of like financial like situation like i could help with too you know okay well well like, um i'm a, i'm gonna lay you out what everyone does at kto right now and then i, yeah. I want you to let me know like where exactly do you think you can fit in for like the mm -hmm. next six to eight months i do remember on your resume you mentioned things like i think it was your resume where you mentioned you want to like we should like build an office space and things like that. I think that's yeah, more so like yeah. a, in like three year plan or whatever, right? But mm -hmm. so right now, here here's what happened. So uh, I run KTO, right? I'm the host. Mm -hmm. I oversee everything. I, I do pretty much something in every single department, uh, and I just know how to do it, right? However, we have two uh, editors right now, and they also sometimes film for us, um, and uh, sometimes take pictures. Uh, and then we have uh, Ashwin, who's the one who set this up. He's kind of like the content mm -hmm. strategist. He's like. Um, does a lot of the show producing behind the scenes just like this live stream um, so he does a lot of back-end stuff like that um, and then he's just like really good at like throwing me ideas when it comes to like research questions however what we don't have right now is we don't have someone that does digital marketing right for when when videos come out when announcements mm -hmm. come out merch we don't have someone um, when it comes to like designing the merch um, honestly like I, I'm pretty good at like I have a good eye for design so I'll do right. a lot of that but there's a lot of stuff like with Shopify like I just don't have time to run the site and like um, you know send out like marketing uh, emails or put the product photos up or uh, you know uh, make the shipping labels things like that then we also don't have someone who runs the promo side of things which is like um, you know when people want to promote things on our page eventually our, our website um, so that's the areas where we don't have something. And I mentioned you, um, mm -hmm. the areas that we have people doing stuff. Where exactly do you see yourself fitting in for like the next six to eight months? I mean, for the next six to eight months, like I would say like I could def. So in terms of like uh, promo or like any sort of digital marketing, like I don't I don't necessarily have a lot of experience in that field. However, I'm pretty confident in like my ability to be able to do it um, like and do it to a to like a high degree like because you know I know my way around social media and I know like how a lot of the people who would want to like view KTO's content but don't necessarily like aren't tapped into KTO like I would know how to reach out to those types of people and get them to like come to the channel and view the content. Um, another area that I think I could help, and I think you mentioned that Ashwin kind of works in this um, area as well as like creative direction. I know, I know you said like, oh, we're looking to like build an office space that's like years down the line, but like even otherwise, you know, as of right now, uh, you know, I see KTO like their main content. It 
nine, most of the content is the is the interviews and then uh, then you have the vlogs as well and i think like those are really great and like very high quality i think the content so far is great but i think even content wise without having everybody in one space collaborating in person like there's a lot of opportunity to expand like the different types of content that you have um even even something as simple as like a podcast a kto podcast and you have the kto team and you have like you know, I could help uh, Ashwin like set that up and run that like on a weekly basis. And then you also and K2 already has like so much to leverage, like guests and co network and connections to like leverage to bring other guests onto the podcast and, you know, have them talk and give their two cents on whatever like that topic or topics are for that day. OK, OK, OK. okay. That'd be like an example of an idea that I feel like you could do within the next 68 months pretty easily. OK, OK, OK. Um, where are you based? Uh, Los Angeles. Oh, you're I moved here two years ago. I'm originally from Virginia. I, I'm born and raised in Virginia. I went to Virginia Tech, and then I, after I graduated, I moved here two years ago. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, I guess my question is like, okay, let's say we were to bring you on, right? Um, mm -hmm. uh, can I mention this publicly that you said like you were making like a good amount of money per year and per year? Yeah, right? just don't say the amount, but yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah you obviously. can go ahead. Obviously, so yeah, so guys, he said he, you know, he's making a, like a decent amount of money per year. You know, he already has a job, and he's willing to like. I guess leave that if 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 this is if this makes sense, right? Um, yeah. What's what's like your 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 ideal scenario for you for what you're gonna do at KTO? You know, like because I'm sure no one wants to leave a, a financially secure job to just take a risk. You know, like you want it, you want something that makes sense for you, right? So I mean, like, I'll I'll be honest, bro. Like I've definitely gotten to a point in my life where like I am I allowed to curse? Like, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I I don't give a fuck about the financial security to be honest. Like. Like, I can go and get that again if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I'm pretty confident in that. Like, I have a degree. I'm pretty smart. So I can go and get that again if I really want to. Like, I want to work in music really fucking bad. Okay. okay. So I'm willing to, like, make the sacrifice and accommodations if necessary. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And if you, if it weren't for you to get a job at KTO, you know, and you were to get somewhere else in the music industry, mm -hmm. where else would you want to go? And, like, and like what what's your, like, ideal scenario that you would do for them, you know? So like, so like my overall, like my big dream is to like work at a record label and work in like an exec position, you know, doing either sort of like artist development and management label operations and just like the whole shebang, like front to back and kind of learn all of that. So whether that's working at a big major label or an indie label, um, I don't, I don't necessarily mind. I, I really want the network and the experience, um, off, um, you know, more than anything. I think that's the most valuable thing for me right now. Um, uh, but in the long term, I would actually like to, you know, start my own label. Like my idea kind of was like to start a company, start off small, maybe build my own studio, um, have people and have clients come over, build relationships with clients. And then through that, um, I can eventually expand, um, start my own label, you know, use my connections from my studio to sign artists. These are all ideas, by the way, like I've only done research yeah. at the time. I haven't really put my foot forward. A uh, big reason of that being is how demanding my job is. But really, like in the the past, like recent three to six months is when I've been like, yeah, I'm for sure. Like, I'm going to go do this music thing 100 percent. Like, whatever I do, I'll do it. And then if it doesn't work out, you know, I can always fall back on on other things. OK, OK. I hear you. Um, all right, man. I think um, I just, you know, just just to keep in, in track of uh, time, uh, we're supposed to. Yeah, for sure. Like 20 minutes. Um, So. Let's keep in touch. Um, I'm going to move on to the next contestant for now, but yeah. um, your name is Vikram, correct? Yeah, for sure. And I can drop you my, I'll send you my Instagram because I keep it on private for the time being. Okay. But, um, and yeah, also, um, even if the KTO thing doesn't work out now, man, yeah, keep in touch with me. If you're in LA, hit me up. Like we talk music, whatever it is, bro. We'll chop it up. Definitely. Definitely. I think I, I might be in LA and like maybe in like February or something. So like, um, yeah, like we'll, we'll meet up regardless. And uh, yeah, it was cool talking to you, man. I'm, I'm going to think about it more this week. Okay. Eh? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Right. Thanks for the Sounds opportunity, good. man. Appreciate it. Peace out. All right, cool. What do you guys think of Vic? I was kind of reading the chat. I was kind of listening to him. Um, uh, it was kind of hard, you know, because it was like it was kind of vague of what he wanted to do. So I was just trying to like make it tell him to specifically tell me what it was because you know, as an employer, like it's hard, you know. Like I don't want to, I don't want to have to like think about like okay, where can I fit him in? Like I just want to know. All right, he's gonna do this. That's gonna help us this way. Boom. Right. So um yeah let's see let's see let's see what you guys are saying you guys are saying this dude is so cool um two men okay <laughs> um what's a bro really all brown people nothing wrong with brown people you know I like having brown people on the team um <laughs> all right guys i think we're gonna move on to the last applicant okay yo yo is it working now 
Yes, it's working, man. Uh, I don't know what was going on, but it just wasn't working before. But you, we're here now. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to join on my um computer, so I don't know why it wasn't working. But it's all good, man. I see you wore the dress shirt, bro. Looking clean. Yeah, I had a suit, but it was getting out of here. So. Nah, same, same, same. I, I was gonna wear a suit, but I was like, yeah, it might be kind of corny, you know, like. Yeah, um, well, I can't. I actually can't see you on my screen, but I don't know why that is. Oh, you can't see me. Uh. Hold up. What the hell? Okay, hold up. Can you see me now? Oh, yeah, I can see you now. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So the chat's been waiting for this. You're the fifth contestant. Um, All right. So let's do it. Let's do it. So I wrote down some questions for you. Um, yeah. Where are you based, by the way? I'm um, East Coast. Okay. Like New uh, York? Or... No, I'm actually in Pennsylvania. Oh, do you know okay, okay. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Um, Ashwin is also from Philly, so... That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so, so your name's Zyre, Zyre, correct? Yeah, it's pronounced Zyre, like Zyre. Gotcha. You gotcha. got it right. Okay. Yo, what what made you wanna uh, apply for KTO, and and what do you currently do? Like, you know, what are your skills? Okay, so I'm currently a student. Um, I applied for KTO because I wanna specifically work for um, work for you as a creative director, and I feel like that's something that you said you needed. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I basically do um, producing, acting, camera work, cooking, and creative direction. I feel like, um, AT, like here's how I'm going to try to explain it. I feel like a lot of people who um, who went up today, they, uh, focused, they focused on certain things that uh, to help build the business, like foot photography and all that. But I feel like it's really in, in the content. I feel like the content is what uh, can elevate KTO better. And I feel like um, it could be attacked in in ways that, like, I, mean, I have so many notes right now. I'm trying to, like, get all okay, the notes together. Your thing, yeah. No rush. No but rush. I feel like um, KTO could really be uh, elevated through content in different ways, like TikTok, um, like TikTok content, YouTube content, and even um, live streaming content. Because we've seen that... Uh, in the past like year um kind of like take place to build especially in rap with rap music you know like like that and i feel like that could um that could be well if you ask me questions i could probably elaborate on them more sure sure, sure. so like no. so like okay you mentioned things like tiktok live stream like so like you know uh we already like have the tiktok up and we're doing live streams so like how do you specifically see yourself helping that like do you have like a specific idea like i know one guy mentioned he wanted to start like an office like at least that was like an idea right so like like do you have like any specific ideas because a creative director can just like throw all ideas like that you know what i'm saying pretty broad mm -hmm. question but yeah like you know do you have any like what is the way that you think you can like elevate the, the content if because that's what you said right yeah i feel like it's kind of like differentiating um kto from from other other kind of production like media companies like no jumper we have to do like to sorry so, sorry one sec. Uh, we just got a, someone donated uh so they would love to see some stuff he's creative directed love how he knows what he wants by the way and he's cute okay well yeah anyways oh uh, yeah you were saying continue no but um i feel like with twitch or we're on um, youtube live streaming it, there's a very um big like you know opportunity there and i feel like kto could um fit in that perfectly whether that be um live interviews maybe like live interviews um behind the scenes content because i i specifically um like attached to what you said on your story about barstool you wanted to bring it to a barstool level and mm -hmm. i feel like something that relates to barstool is that they have like they're behind behind the scenes content in their their um they're kind of like, how do I explain it? The, pers the personalities they have inside the business is what like elevates them higher. True, true, true. So I feel like, to to um, you said that was like a three year plan. You wanted to like start bringing in like other aspects, but I feel like that's a very big um, a very big like opportunity there. Mm -hmm. And I could work like alongside uh, Ashwin as a video strategist because um like the different concepts like i have i have like a whole list of um video specific video ideas ex like specifically for well like kto and that type of content like 
rap content. Can I hear him? Or um, also even even like broadening like the the type of genres that you guys like do coverage for, not just like um like rap, but like yeah. maybe like pop or something. If if that's something that you're interested in, like um, to maybe overseas and other artists that are coming up overseas. You you mentioned um like you'd work alongside Ashwin as like a video strategist and you had like these ideas. You said you have a list. Like like what are some of those ideas? Just curious. And you can just say them. Like it's fine. Okay, so I I I have new interview styles, and I said um like the coach he's cooking, but like more onto that like that type of style because that was a different type of video style, and it did very well. Um. I also have, you know, kind of community events, kind of like in-person events that can like, because in-person events can kind of like um, strengthen the community within KTO and make everybody feel like a part of something because that's what like a lot of people like to grasp onto. Mm. Um, events, like I know a lot of other companies um, throw events like concerts or or anything like that to kind of promote the business and kind of kind of bit like build a um kind of a noise around kto okay um okay, okay. i think um dude, yeah, yeah oh sorry you, you were gonna say something no you can go yeah, go yeah i was gonna say so I, i'm just looking to see you know like if we were to hire you like like you know the way i see it is like if we were if we were to hire an employee right there's like a couple of things I, I need from them one is like i need someone who's like super super reliable i can hit them up right away right two i'm just really mm -hmm. looking like you know how how can and i hate using this word because like gary v and like everyone always uses it but like like how can this person provide value right value that i yeah. i can't provide myself right so uh, i'm mm -hmm. trying to see uh you know, like, like what, what can you bring to us? That's like more valuable than everyone else who we've interviewed. Right. So if we were to hire you, I'm trying to think like, what would a week look like? You know, like on Monday, like what would you work on on Tuesday? What would you work on? Let's say, let's say, let's say on Monday, you thought of like three different ideas, right. Of like, okay, we should do this yeah. in the next month. It's like, I'm just curious, like in, in a week, you know, like what would your schedule look like? Like, how would you work towards those things? Like, give me an example of one idea. If I were to hire you today, right, that you would work on for, let's say, like a month. And how would you execute that idea from start to finish? Okay, that's a loaded question. Let me think about yeah, that. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Just, no, that, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah. I think I would start first um, brainstorming. Probably with like Art Ash one or something, or like a specific video, whatever that may be. And then I, because I'm I'm really focused on the videos because I feel like the videos is what the like audience sees, and that's what is gonna like people will know you. People know KTO because of their videos and and stuff. So like if we if you were you were to do like videos that differentiates um yourself from of these other like competitors like um no jumper and our, our generation i feel like that's um what would like bring kto to the top but like focusing more on the, like a project that i would um work on in a, in a week and how i would do it start to finish mm. i would say it kind of like encompasses everything that everyone has said in the interviews like promotion and um uh from brainstorming to promotion to to um kind of like it's hard to it's hard to explain i feel but, that i feel that no, no that's no. cool I, I feel that yeah i think i was mo uh, mostly looking more so for like um because because a lot of people you know when when i dm them and they're like hey like you know i, I have all these ideas um, I just want to know in my head they're like, okay, if I let this person work on this, I won't have I won't have to jump in on this um, every you know like hour and like help them with it. Like, can I can I give them this project and they just do it on their own and then they'll come to me when they need help? Um, so yeah, I was just kind of looking for more so like you know like I, it it would suck to hire somebody who like I hired and then I had to like keep doing a lot of the work, right? Like I, I just want to I want someone who's like ready to think of an idea have a plan and execute it and just feel me on, on how to do it. Right. So, um, but I feel that, well, okay. I, I got some, some other questions for you. Like, uh, what kind of stuff yeah. have you done in the past? Like, have you done other creative work or like, okay. So basically with the creative work that I've been doing so far is with like a family owned business I have with my family. 
Nice. We uh, own like a kennel, and I do like promotional work for, you know, their merch or the, like the um, collections. Wait, wait, of, sorry, like, you guys own a what? Like a, a type of store? A kennel. What's that? A kennel. It's like uh, you know, like with like animals, dogs, and oh, okay, pets. Okay. Yeah, so we do like promotional things for that, and I do I handle some of that. Um, whether that be like videos on Instagram, running the TikTok for that, um, in person, kind of like networking or or um, things like that. Right. But that's kind of like my background is that I'm actively doing that now. Nice. Like that's I'm currently working on that now with my family. Nice. And um, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Can I see the the TikTok by any chance? Like, I, I won't show it on the screen. I, I just want to kind of uh, see if that's cool. Um, yes. The um, you want me to say it here, or you want me to message oh, it? Oh, right. Uh, I mean, because if you, if I you can message, message you like the Instagram or, or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Message it to me on Instagram real quick. Do that right now. Yeah. yeah. My bad. T- all, all day today, bro. I've I've been just like revealing info and shit. And I'm like, I feel bad, you know. That was fun. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna read the chat in the meanwhile. Uh, uh, let's see. Someone said the the personalities idea is kind of super dope. Yeah, I, I do like what you said about, and I do like how Barstool has like uh, content with like Frankie and like other people. So like I definitely see that in the future, but I don't know if we see it right yeah. away. Um. And. Let's switch to Instagram, but it's it's kind of hard to say. I can go in depth and like like um, state like specific ideas I have, but it's I don't know. It's kind of like the live aspect and all that that's kind of slipping me up. But you know, right, right. No, no, I I feel that, bro. I, did you message my personal or my main? Um, uh, I did it on message you on Discord. Oh, you messaged me on Discord. I my bad, my bad. Uh, I'm gonna beat this right now. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna try not to say this out loud. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. Damn, these are some cute animals. I'm usually scared of animals, but these are some cute animals, bro. I feel like I'm on the right page. I think. Yeah, we don't do like big dogs. We do like um, you know, like bulldogs, French bulldogs. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I, I could see why people on TikTok would, would like this, though. Um, Cool, man. Uh, Let me ask you some last questions before we kind of wrap this up. I kind of went a little bit over time, but... um, um, Okay. I'll, like, and you can answer this completely honestly, bro. I'm not going to get offended, right? Um, What's one thing you kind of, like, dislike about the KTO content or, like, think that could, like, really improve, you know? Okay. I will not I feel like never, we, I will not get offended like you just say it. I feel like um with KTO like I'm trying to state these um ideas that I have for KTO like for video ideas because um you know YouTube is like the biggest platform to like get to build like a a business or a brand. People like like to like digest off of YouTube. So my one like con to KTO would be like um I feel like to to um dif- differentiate or like to make KTO a business that's a business that stands out, the um content needs to be like totally different. You know what I mean? Like even if there was like a podcast, like um I know one guy said um for in one of the other interviews, like I feel like no jumper has that unlock. You know, like no jumper has that unlock. Other companies have that unlock, and I feel like um before. You, you jump into those things, KTO has such an opportunity to create something that's new because what I've seen like with content creators, we all know that like all the content creators or all the businesses that are like thriving are ones that gave the people that things that they didn't know they needed, you know? Mm-hmm. If you know what I mean, like you can't just like be, um you can't just be a, another like media company because other people are doing that to the highest degree that they can. So you like you should like focus on something that's like more like like different or you know? just like 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 a new series or something like that kind of like a new series or just like a whole different like aura and vibe up to the, like your 
to your company and people already see that within KTO, you know, all these people here have said they liked your like, you know, artistic style of like the white and black and the iPhone layout. So like that's already differentiating you. So like just to continue with that with new ideas, videos, um, take like live streaming for for a media company to a different level, not just like, you know, like have a podcast where you talk about like the rap news or anything like that. You could okay. do something differently. Like not that, but like you could do something um different from that. Like like I'll even give an example of like um an ideas that I have like for like it's just like the small things. It only takes one video. Um when ideas like like kind of like what we're doing now, like you could like to direct differentiate yourself from other interviews you could like um you know interview people but like in suits and make it super serious you know just things like that are things that make it like stand out you know okay 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 word word, word. yeah i know I, like, I think cool. i think what i'm mostly getting out of it is like i like you're telling us to continue doing different things right to separate us from other other outlets and uh no i, I feel that you know there are a lot of um outlets that just do like the sit down interviews and um yeah, you know, I I could see us throwing in uh, more series or doing things more like the coaches thing, but okay, word word word. Um, all right, man. I think uh, my bad. Just like we went super. It's supposed to be like an hour stream, but we went like super long. But bro, it was really nice talking to you. Um, yeah. shoot me a message on IG and uh, and I'm gonna follow you. And uh, I I appreciate you taking the time to to talk to us, man. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, yeah, I'll definitely shoot you a message and see what happens from there but thank you for giving me the opportunity i appreciate it hell yeah thanks so much man it was thank nice you. talking to you you too all right guys um yeah i'm uh, i'm gonna read the chat well i mean i've kind of been reading the chat um definitely yo respect to him for coming on like it, it takes guts man and like he had he had a lot of confidence he wrote down a whole list of things like he was he definitely did try to prepare um yeah i would just say you know like from a really critical standpoint like uh to be like a creative director and you know i guess that word is just thrown around so easily but um to do things like that right you really have to be able to spit out ideas but if it's like you know hold up control q right? yeah if you're like if you're spitting out damn it got so dark i'm like orange at this point um if you're gonna like throw ideas right like you have to be able to like specifically like have a plan for those it doesn't have to be like a fully fleshed out plan but just like a rough plan you know um and that's kind of where i was getting at when i was asking him like all right this is your idea you have but like tell us more specifically how would we do it you know um but yeah like some people in the chat were being kind of mean but um for the most part a lot of you guys understand you know like it, it's it's hard to be in front of people and like um you know say everything like you planned so um yeah the, the guy seems like a really good guy man thanks so much for hopping in um on the live stream